Did you like the hedgehog story? So did I. Well, it made me think that maybe I could make a hedgehog card. And inside the card, I'm going to write sending you a hedgehog. Does that sound cute? Okay, let me show you my um, how I'm going to make this card. So, what you are going to need is a page with lots of heart shapes. You could also just cut out your own heart shapes if you want. And there's a lot of ways you can do this project, but you'll need that. And then you're going to need two pieces of paper cut into this shape. I don't know what to call this shape. It almost looks like a speech bubble. Blah, 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 blah. But really what it is, it's the hedgehog. So here's his little nose and then his big body. Okay, when you have those, the next step is to color your hearts. You can use colored construction paper if you want to not color, or you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers. Today, I'm going to use watercolor paint. So, to color my hearts, I'm going to dip my brush in some water. I don't want very much. I'm going to get a little bit. This time I'm going to use the green. And I'm going to start painting my hearts. If you are doing something like coloring with markers or painting, you can make sure to get your water or your drawing inside the lines if you want to. But I'm not going to worry about staying in the lines because I'm going to cut them out in a little bit. So I don't have to stay in the lines. Let me show you what I have so far. Okay, like that. You will color all of your hearts because you will need lots of them. You might not need every single one, but you'll need lots. So, a page of hearts. And then, I told you you need two of these, right? One of them is going to be the inside of the card. So you actually leave that one blank. You don't need to do anything with that one. The other one, you can color. And hedgehogs are a really dark color. So like a dark brown, or you could even use, like, if you're using watercolor, you can use black if you want. I'm just going to use the brown, and I'm going to paint him. Remember, you can use also use crayons or colored pencils. I'm going to pause the video so that you don't have to sit here and watch me paint. That's all I'm doing is painting my hedgehog. When you're doing this part, you actually don't need to paint the whole thing. You really just need kind of the face part. So maybe, maybe about half of it, a little less than half. Okay. Okay. So what I did when the camera turned off is I finished painting all my hearts. I have greens and yellows and reds and purples and some blues. And I cut them. I waited till they were dry and then I cut them out. Same here. I waited till this was all dry. And then I started to add my quills or the hearts to the hedgehog. So I'll let you see as I put some more on. We'll go around in the different ways. So I'll have it go all the way here. I'm covered. And you can use just one color of hearts if you want. Like maybe you just want to do one or two colors. Or maybe you want to do lots of colors like I did. You can do it whichever way you like. Because it's your project that you're doing. It's up to you. You make the quills. See how my quills are kind of poking out a little bit? And they go up. And you want to cover the whole thing. Or else we'll see. It just won't be quite right. So go ahead and build your hedgehog however you'd like to build him. Look at this one. I'll just wait and get lots of glue on it. Almost done. And I think I've got most of my hedgehog covered, but there's just one little open spot in the middle. So I'm just going to take one more. Maybe I'll use my purple one and just put it right in here. I think that will look good. Okay, so 
just using glue or you could even use tape. Get your hedgehog all put together. So now I've got a hedgehog with colorful quilts. Just a few more details and then he will be done. Or maybe mine's Hattie, maybe mine's the girl. You can use a marker. I'm using a Sharpie marker, so those are the ones you need to be careful with to make a little nose. You could also put a circle if you wanted to cut out a piece of um, black paper and cut it in a circle or paint a piece of, just paint the nose black or color the nose black from the beginning, you can. And then it, he needs a little eye. So you can put the eye, better turn it, you can put the eye right here. And your eye, you can either use a googly eye or you can draw the eye. I'm going to draw the eye. I'm going to make mine Hattie and give her little eyelashes. So here's my hedgehog. Um, and if you want, you can put a little smile on your hedgehog. I'm going to. There we go. There's my hedgehog. Next, you would take the other piece of paper. This is the one you're going to write your note on. I don't want to use a permanent marker on this one. I'm going to use just a different marker. And I'm going to write sending you a hedgehug and then I'm going to write I love you because I'm sending mine to my mom so maybe I should put her name on the top You can attach the back of your card to the front, line them up. You can either put some glue along the top, which is what I'm going to do. Or if you want to make sure it stays on even better, a staple. Put a little staple in it. That will hold it really well. Tape could also work. And now... Now we can open the card and it says, sending you a hedgehog. I love you. Oh, I didn't sign my name. All right, love Kim because my mom doesn't call me Mrs. Luce. Does she? Nope, she does not. <laughs> so there we go. Here is your little hedgehog card. I hope you have fun making one yourself. Remember, you could do things differently. You could use different colors. You could put like a pom-pom on the nose and a googly eye out for the eye if you want. Or you could do it the way I did. You can use watercolors, markers, crayons, or paint. Have fun making a card if you would like.